It's meal prep day again, and today we're gonna meal prep healthy breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, and dessert that will get you 100 grams of protein per day. But first, we're gonna go to the grocery store to get some ingredients. For breakfast, I'm making blended blueberry overnight oats. If you aren't the biggest fan of the texture of overnight oats, you have to try out this recipe. This recipe is super simple, just add all the ingredients into a blender. Oats, wild blueberries, I used frozen ones. Then I'm adding some chia seeds, milk, low-fat Greek yogurt, which is a great source of protein. Then I add some maple syrup, or you could also use honey for some sweetness, and vanilla extract and lemon zest for some flavor. Lastly, if you like, you can add some collagen powder for extra protein. Then I just pour the mixture into glass jars. I add some berries on top. I'm prepping six servings of all the meals this time since Aaron is working from home this week. I'm making six servings of these oats too, but I could only fit the ingredients for three servings into the blender at once, so I'm making another batch after this. Then I just let the oats set in the fridge. Super easy and so yummy. For lunch, I'm making pasta salad jars. First, I make the dressing. I add some garlic infused olive oil. If you have wondered why I don't use onion or garlic in my recipes, it's because I have IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. And those ingredients besides gluten give me the worst symptoms. However, garlic infused olive oil works for IBS sufferers. So if you have IBS like me, I recommend trying it out super easy way to add some flavor to the meals. If those ingredients don't cause you gut issues, you can of course add onion and garlic to my recipes. Then I add some lemon juice, Dijon mustard, chopped parsley, oregano, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Then I divide the dressing into glass jars. Next, I add some lentils which are high in fiber and protein. Then I add some grape tomatoes. and chickpea pasta. I also bought feta for these salad jars, but I forgot to add that to the jars. So add some feta if you like. Next, I'm adding cucumber. Bell pepper. And lastly, some arugula. Then I store these jars in the fridge. Before serving, I just pour all the ingredients from a jar into a bowl 
and mix everything together. Salad jars are the best way to prep salads because the dressing is in the bottom so the veggies won't get soggy. You asked for more savory snacks, so I'm making roasted red pepper hummus snack boxes. Homemade hummus is actually very easy to make. It takes less than five minutes. I just add chickpeas into a blender, then I add some roasted red peppers. I used canned ones to save time, but you could roast the peppers yourself too. Then I add garlic infused olive oil, tahini, lemon juice, ground cumin, and salt. And then I just blend everything together. Just look at that color, so pretty. Then I build the snack boxes, I add baby carrots, cucumbers, grape tomatoes, and crackers. Then I add lots of the hummus and two boiled eggs. So tasty protein-packed snack boxes. For dinner, I'm making salmon with roasted vegetables. I made a lemon herb marinade for the salmon of lemon juice, lemon zest, Dijon mustard, chopped parsley, and rosemary, olive oil, salt, and pepper. I spread that on top of the salmon. Then Aaron chopped some sweet potatoes for us. So I'm spreading half of them on this baking pan. I add a drizzle of olive oil and a pinch of salt and toss. Then on another baking pan, I have some asparagus and I'm adding the rest of the sweet potatoes. Again, I add some olive oil and salt and toss. veggies and salmon in the oven at 200 Celsius degrees, 390 in Fahrenheit. Salmon for about 12 to 15 minutes until flaky and cooked through, and the veggies for about 30 minutes. I serve them with a yogurt sauce. Such a tasty dinner idea for spring. For dessert, I'm making banana pops. I cut three bananas in half and then I insert a popsicle stick into the bottom of each banana half and place them on a plate lined with parchment paper. I freeze them for about an hour. Then I dip the bananas in unsweetened peanut butter. You can also just spread the peanut butter onto the bananas with a knife. You need about one tablespoon of peanut butter per banana half. Then I freeze them for about a couple of hours until peanut butter has set. Lastly, I dip them in melted dark chocolate. I'm using 80% dark chocolate, but you could use any chocolate you like. I store them in an airtight container in the freezer and let them defrost for about 10 minutes before serving. Such an easy and yummy dessert. And here are all the ready meals. Those were all the meals I meal prepped today, and as always, the written recipes are in the description box. Let me know in the comments what kind of recipes you want to see next. I hope you tried the recipes. Enjoy!